Hey everyone, this is Parga Kuthar and today we will learn about very important topic that is what is a binary operation. So in this today's session, uh, we will learn specifically a binary operation as well as what is a algebraic structure. Fine. So let us discuss what is a binary operation. So a binary operation on a set A. Now let capital G be a non-empty set and then let this G cross G. Now we know what is a G cross G that is a Cartesian product of the same set. Uh, that is equals to set of all a b such that this uh, a belongs to g and b belongs to g as well as we have uh, both the sets are same fine now this f uh, let us take one function f from g cross g to g then this f is said to be a binary operation on the set g when uh, this star is uh, suppose let us take a binary operations name that is star this is a binary operation on g f and only if for every a b belongs to g uh, that implies a star b belongs to g so that means it is a closure property and obviously this a star b has to be unique fine so it is called a binary operation if uh, a b belongs to g that implies a star belongs to g and it is unique so in other words this a star belongs to g for every a and b uh, belongs to g it is called a closure property okay and that is this g is closed uh, with the operation star if we have the star then it is called uh, g is closed under star or uh, with the operation star or with respect to the operation star fine okay now uh, for example see uh, we have this 3 belongs to n n main set of natural numbers and 5 belongs to n so what this 3 plus 5 that is equals to 8 and that is also belongs to n so what is a binary operation the closure property must be hold okay so hence this uh, plus plus symbol or plus operation is also a binary operation for the set of natural numbers now for example let us take another example if we have 7 belongs to n and 10 belongs to n now if we change the operation uh, instead of plus uh, if we change uh, or if we use this minus so 7 minus 10 so that is negative of 3 and we know that this minus 3 does not belong to set of natural numbers so what we can conclude so hence this negative sign so hence this negative sign it is not a binary operation for the specific above example okay why because the both the uh, both the elements that belongs to the set of natural numbers but uh, there uh, after applying the operation we are getting the answer that does not belongs to the set okay so it is not a binary operation now what is a composition table so let capital s be a finite set consisting of n elements and then a composition uh, here we have star uh, in s can be described by the table uh, we are taking one example so let us consider this table we have the star composition then let us take a then b and c okay so we are taking three elements now in same manner uh, in row we will get a b and c fine now suppose uh, the answer of this portion so that is a star a so we will denote it as a star a then in same manner a star b and a star c now in second row here it will be b as we have three elements now here it will be b star a so column to row so b star a in same manner b star b then b star c and here the element is c now c star a so c star a c star b and c star c so this is how we can construct a composition table okay now for example let us take example so if we have the set s 1 minus 1 i and minus i so we have four elements so how to find a composition so as you know that here the operation is what we have taken the operation as dot okay or the product sign so in column we will have 1 minus 1 then i and minus i uh, like this okay and in same manner in row there will be 1 minus 1 i and minus i so here 1 now what is 1 into 1 so it is 1 now 1 into minus 1 so it will be minus 1 now 1 into i so i now 1 into minus i so minus i now the second element so it's the second element is what minus 1 so minus 1 into 1 so minus 1 minus 1 into minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 i minus i minus 1 minus i so i now i into 1 so i then minus i then i square now we know that what is i square it is negative of 1 so minus 1 
now i into minus i so i into minus i so minus i square i square is minus 1 so minus of minus so that is plus 1 now minus i into 1 so minus i minus i into minus 1 plus i then 1 and in same manner minus 1 okay as you can see that this all the elements belongs to the given set and the composition or the product as you can see that the all the answers they belongs to the given set so it is closed under the operation this dot okay so here all the answers are either from 1 minus 1 i or minus i fine now let us take another example so is addition a binary operation on the given set minus 1 0 and 1 so what we'll do we'll again construct a table okay and here we have the addition addition is as a binary operation so we'll write at here plus then minus 1 0 and 1 and in same manner in row we'll write minus 1 0 and 1 okay so minus 1 now the addition uh, here we have addition so minus 1 into my uh, sorry minus 1 plus minus 1 so that is minus 2 now minus 1 plus 0 minus 1 now here it will be 0 now in same manner here 0 so minus 1 0 and 1 right and last entry uh, here 1 so minus 1 uh, then 1 and 2 now as you can see that uh, for becoming a binary operation the closure property must be hold okay so here minus 1 0 and 1 they, they are the set if, itself now the answers will be also from the set but as you can see that this minus 2 does not belong to the set now in the same manner this 2 does not belong to the set so what we can conclude it is not a binary opera operation okay so yes here addition it is not a binary operation why because this minus 2 and 2 it both does not belong to the given set so it is not a binary operation now let us discuss what is the algebraic structure so a non-empty set uh, let us take g equipped with one or more binary operations is called an algebraic structure so a non-empty set uh, with one or more binary operations is called algebraic structure so now if the star is a binary operation on g then the set g comma star this is the notation is an algebraic structure fine now for example uh, we have this n plus it is a binary operation so set of all natural numbers with the binary operation plus it is a binary operation now in same manner we have discussed uh, this n and minus so that is not a binary operation uh, that is we uh, already discussed right n and minus so set of natural numbers and the operation is minus so it is not a binary operation but the set of natural numbers and dot or the multiplication that is a binary operation so if we take any two elements and the multiplication uh, what we will get so it will be it will belongs to the set of natural numbers now in same manner i plus i dot set of integers then i dot and they all are the algebraic structures okay now what are the properties of binary operations so the first one the closure property that we know so for uh, every a and b belongs to g g is closed under the star operation so okay so it is a closure property now what is associative property so if we uh, we want to take three elements so for every a b c belongs to g uh, if this a star b star c equals to a star b star c so it is called associative so that means we can change the brackets the answer won't change for example uh, if we take 2 3 5 they belongs to i then what this 2 plus 3 plus 5 equals to 2 plus 3 plus 5 so if we change the brackets the answer is uh, unchanged okay so it is associative one uh, yes and also for dot or also for multiplication it is correct and fine now therefore plus and dot both are what they are associative okay now what is a commutative property so if uh, we have two elements for every a and b belongs to g this a star b equals to b star a then star is said to be a commutative so that means we can change the order so either we will calculate this a star b or b star a the answer won't change now what is the identity so the element e is called an identity if there exists an element e belongs to g the given set such that this a star e 
equals to e star a equals to a or a star e equals to a itself equals to e star a so that means they are commutative also and if we multiply the uh, given element with the some e and we'll get the same element then it will be an identity element just by its name okay now what is the inverse element so there exists an element b belongs to g let us take b belongs to g is said to be inverse of a such that what this a star b equals to e equals to b star a so that means what a star some b and uh, after multiplying that we'll get the identity element so that is this above so that is e and it is same as b star a okay so a star b equals to e equals to b star a so what is the inverse so a into its inverse will get the identity element so this is the inverse fine thank you